What's up, bros? Gundam here. So for my first trick, I'm just going to be taking the Oni Lloyd minifigure from Ninjago Crystallized. I'm going to remove the Oni mask and the head, and most importantly, we're going to swap out this Legacy armor piece for the Golden Dragon armor piece from Wu. Pop it onto the torso, pop on the head, and as you can see here, the Oni mask helmet combo piece is compatible with the golden dragon armor so reattach the oni face mask and this looks pretty sick second trick as you can see here instead of using these digi ninja head pieces with the visor for your digi ninja minifigures you can instead use the dragon's rising heads and those visor head prints for your digi ninja minifigure and this way your Digi Ninja minifigures can have some unique visors instead of just having the same blue visors for every ninja. And for those of you that are wondering, this is what the Digi Ninja visor head prints look like on the Dragon's Rising Ninja minifigures. Kinda weird. Third tip or trick, did you know that these upper Dragon's Rising Ninja Hood pieces are compatible with the classic lower ninja hood pieces. Just remove the head and the upper hood piece and most importantly swap out this armor slash lower ninja hood piece with the classic lower ninja hood piece and then pop it onto the rest of the head and the upper ninja hood and bam! As you can see here, the two pieces are compatible and this custom idea is great for customs. Fourth tip, did you know that these purse pieces are great for giving your minifigures the ability to store weapons? Take Kai here for example, he has this brown book bag purse piece. Now I'm going to be giving him his sword of fire, we can just slide it into the back of the purse piece. As you can see here, the sword of fire is locked in place, won't fall out, and bam. Doesn't that look nice? Depending on how big your weapon is, sometimes you can store multiple weapons. Like, for instance, I can take two katanas and just slide them in. Doesn't that look nice as well? For my fifth and last tip or trick, did you know that the black scuba pieces for your scuba ninja minifigures from Ninjago Seabound are optional? A great alternative to this scuba piece is simply taking one of these scuba pieces. I have this piece in white to fit my scuba Z minifigure right here. Pop it onto the torso and then for the head, I took this breathing mask piece from an aim agent from Marvel and then I can just pop it onto the scuba Zane headpiece right here and pop it all onto the rest of the minifigure and bam! This is basically just like an alternate scuba ninja design, an alternative for in case you don't want to use these black scuba pieces. But yeah, that's basically it for my 5 tips and tricks. Thanks for having me. See ya, bros.